Hey Dom Chick Guru here with another Zombie Night Terror Challenge Guide. This one for Cannibal Holocaust. Find and kill the cannibal in the level Hard Rain. Uh, of course there's already a guide for this up, but it has been altered by the developers, so you have to do something different a little later in the level. So I've made a new video to help people get through it. It's still 100% easily beatable. It's not a difficult, super difficult level, but it is more finicky now than it used to. So just follow these steps and you'll be fine. Uh, you can kill everybody in this room. Just don't accidentally uh, send the first guy down. Oh look, nobody ran downstairs. All right, so after that guy goes back left to kill Shades over there, you can send somebody else down. All right, now what I like to do is get my guys into a clump so they can more easily tackle a, uh, a gun guy later on. So just waste a guy and some DNA, getting them all next to the door. You don't have to do that, but like I said, it just makes things a little easier later on. All right, my clump is all ready to go. So you break this door, you make yourself another throwing guy right at the edge here. Uh, doesn't matter which way he faces because he's just going to be throwing people. All right, get him to throw, get the clump going. Right across, they kill these two ladies, they automatically go upstairs. There's the gun guy right there, don't worry about it. He might kill one or two of your zombies, but you're going to be fine. You got like ten at this point. Okay, uh, again, another throwing guy right at the front. Unfortunately, the problem with clumping is you guys can get very close together. And you'll end up, nope, having a hard time clicking on the guy, rather than making the second guy jump, which is annoying as heck. Oh, no way! <laughs> You should not set that. You should set that to go straight so you don't have to send them back up. It doesn't affect anything unless you let them get all the way down there. But uh, it just saves you some time. All right. Once again, another throwing guy. Now see what happened the first time. I'll just, uh, as they're getting over here, I'll show you what happened the first time. So what happens is this guy decides he's going to do some parkour. Right? Oh, parkour. Uh, decides he's going to do some parkour and he jumps off the, uh, the edge. And originally he would turn into a zombie when down there, so you just have to click on that door, and he would walk through and kill everybody. Great, right? He doesn't do that anymore. Now he's just dead. It's very frustrating. Also, I don't think there's a zombie over here anymore. There used to be a zombie over there you could wake up. Not important. So instead, just move everybody to the left and make sure all of this is set to go down and left. Don't bother trying to take on the gun guys. You don't. Need, you only need to kill seven more guys to finish the level. You don't need to kill the gun guys to finish things. So why risk losing any of your zombies? They won't come out and kill you, so just uh, have some fun. Oh, you'll notice I'm leaving all these guys alive. Later I'm going to do some stuff that requires a bunch of DNA, so it's good to have guys you can eat later if you need to. Alright, so as you can see, these are breakable doors, so they're just going to walk straight through and kill everybody. So get your overlord ready. You guys are the best. Alright, so turn him that way. Turn him into a throwing guy this way. Get him to hit right on the edge. That should be it. And get them, turn one guy into a guard pointing this way. Now's the time to eat those guys for DNA. Alright. Uh, now you just need the Splodo Juice. Uh, and that will finish the level for you. Don't click the finish button, obviously. Because, you know, that's not what we're here to do. So first, aim that carefully so they hit the door but don't die. And then the second you got a guy up there, aim him down so the rest of the guys go downstairs. See? Uh, so now you're going to get the Explodo Juice. These guys sometimes... Uh, Sometimes they'll get killed, sometimes they won't. It really doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to turn him into a guard to make sure nobody accidentally walks off the left. You'll notice there is a uh, gun guy here, but you got a whole glut of zombies coming his way. He should be fine. Boom! See? What are you going to do? Oh no, you killed one of me! Boo hoo! Uh, set him to detonate, now that you can. Turn the next guy into a blocker zombie. Throw the guy, throw two guys after him down. One, two. You can cancel them. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I like to save as many zombies as possible because, hey, I'm trying to think of a quality about saving zombies' lives that makes you a good person. There isn't one. All right. Uh, set him to detonate. If you get close enough, you see there's a, both a wall. There used to just be a brick wall. Now there's a wall and a door. It doesn't matter. The one destruction destroys them both. All right. So she's dead. Cannibal's alive. And now the cannibal's dead, too. Uh, so now, because I'm sentimental, I want to make sure the lady victim doesn't get killed. I set up a blocker there. 
and uh, everybody's happy forever. That's it. As you can see, we've got the brain trophy, so the, uh, the, the guide works again. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. If you're having trouble with this level, I hope this help, uh, helped. Can't believe I said the word help wrong. Anyway, if you have trouble with any other levels of the game, just check elsewhere in this playlist. I've got guides for all of them. And if any of them have been rendered useless by an update by the developers, just uh, send me a message or leave a comment telling me and I'll make an updated video. All right, that's that. I will see you back here for more Zombie Night Terror, but until then, au revoir.